star that represents the source of life, the sun. Planets revolving around stars. Meteors hurtling through the sky. Giant clouds of dust and gas. And galaxies home to billions of stars. Space, the boundless void that has fascinated man since the most ancient times. The universe we live in is still full of unsolved secrets. One of the heavenly bodies with great secrets is the sun, the source of life on Earth. In this film, we shall be witnessing examples of Almighty Allah's glorious creation in the sun. Advances in technology are revealing unknown aspects of the universe one by one. The more than 100 billion galaxies contain more stars than there are grains of salt on Earth. Just like planets, galaxies follow their own orbits. For example, one full cycle of the Milky Way, which includes our own Earth, takes 250 million years to complete. Our galaxy travels through the universe at the extraordinary speed of 225 million kilometers per second. Like the Milky Way, other galaxies are also in constant motion. Galaxies sometimes approach one another and even collide with one another during the course of these movements. But no destruction takes place during these collisions. If two giant systems with their own separate orders collide, the systems gradually unite with one another. The result is a new galaxy with a whole new order of its own. The reason for this is that the distance between the celestial bodies and the galaxies is exceptionally finely adjusted. The distribution of all the heavenly bodies in the universe is exactly right for human life. For example, there are vast voids in space. In his book, The Symbiotic Universe, the American astronomer George Greenstein describes the importance of heavenly bodies being at specific distances from one another as follows. Had the stars been somewhat closer, astrophysics would not have been so very different. The fundamental physical processes occurring within the stars, nebulas and the like would have proceeded unchanged. The appearance of our galaxy, as seen from some far distant vantage point, would have been the same. About the only difference would have been the view of the nighttime sky from the grass on which I lie, which would have been yet richer with stars. And oh, yes, one more small change. There would have been no me to do the viewing. All that wastes their space. On the other hand, in this very waste lies our safety. Scientists carrying out more detailed examinations have determined other examples of delicate balances in addition to the distances between heavenly bodies.
scientific circles have begun to think that the universe has an anthropic purpose. According to this, the universe did not come into being for no reason. It has a purpose. All the physical balances in the universe have been arranged in a sensitive manner, just right for human life. Now we will have a close look at one heavenly body created with a sensitive balance just right for human life. The Sun. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. Allah is he who raised up the heavens without any support, you can see that, and then established himself firmly on the throne. He made the sun and moon subservient, each running for a specified term. He directs the whole affair. He makes the signs clear, so that hopefully you will be certain about the meeting with your Lord. Delicate Measure in the Sun Warning None of the figures cited in this film have come together by chance. Every number has a crucial significance for everything living on the Earth. One of the 200 billion known stars in the Milky Way the Sun. Scientists think that this star is around 4.5 billion years old. Yet its story goes much further back than that, to around 14 billion years ago. To a time when nothing, absolutely nothing existed. Even before that great explosion took place, the destiny of this and all other stars, which atoms they would use as resources, and how they would consume energy, the stages they would go through, and the fact that they would eventually die, all already ordained. The destiny of the sun was distinguished from that of others in this way. It was created as a source of life for a blue planet close to it. Allah created the destiny of the universe before any of these things had ever happened. The sun is 26,000 light years from the center of the Milky Way and travels at 792,000 kilometers per hour. It completes one revolution around the center of the galaxy in approximately 225 to 250 million years. This star, which constantly emits light and heat, is 109 times larger than the Earth in diameter, 1.3 million times in volume, and 333,000 times greater in weight. The density of the Sun, a giant next to our own planet, is only one quarter that of Earth, however. Large explosions take place from time to time on the Sun, which consists of very hot and burning gases. These explosions are so powerful, they give off flames that are 40 to 50 times the size of the Earth. 
The surface temperature of the Sun, which resembles a huge fireball, is 6,000 degrees centigrade and 12,000 degrees at the core. This makes the Sun a giant energy production center. So much so, that the energy emitted by the Sun in three days is equivalent to all the oil, timber, natural gas, etc. energy on Earth. However, only one part in two million of the energy produced by the Sun, and one part in two thousand of the heat emitted, reached the Earth. So why does only this small proportion reach the Earth instead of all of it? This level is just one of the special measurements created in order to sustain life on Earth. Owing to the specific level of energy reaching us from the Sun, our days are illuminated, the surface of the planet is warmed, and living things are able to find food. The Sun is 150 million kilometers from the Earth. If it were possible, it would take us 5,000 years to reach the Sun in a spacecraft. Yet rays from the Sun reach us across that distance in just eight and a half minutes. The distance of the Sun from the Earth, the size of the Sun, and the scale of the reactions taking place inside the Sun are all based on very fine calculations. Our life is also determined on the basis of these very fine calculations. Even the slightest change in any of these values would spell the end of life on Earth. There are various movements taking place, such as the movement of the Sun around its own axis and in a specific direction, the movement of the Earth around its own axis, movements dependent on the Sun and also influenced by the Moon. With all these very fast movements, our Earth assumes a different place in the solar system and the galaxy to where it was a moment before. There is a very important point here. During this movement, the relative positions of the Earth and Sun remain unaltered, and life on Earth is therefore not exposed to any danger. As we have seen, the characteristics of the Sun are not haphazard and aimless. On the contrary, as Allah says in the Quran in the words, Allah has deliberately created this star in order to sustain human life. The values we have been discussing so far have been created with very sensitive balances, in such a way as to affect not just life on Earth, but the entire universe. The speed of the light emitted by the Sun is just one such example. Light travels at 300,000 kilometers per second. This is shown in the letter C in Einstein's famous formula E equals mc squared. The E in the formula stands for the energy given off when matter is converted into energy in thermonuclear reactions in the stars.
If light traveled just slightly faster than it does, then tens of thousands of times more energy would be produced than is manufactured now in these thermonuclear reactions in stars. That would mean the energy in the cores of stars being consumed much faster, and our universe would millions of years ago have been plunged into darkness. But what if light traveled just a little bit slower? In that case, the initial expansion of the universe would have been much slower and the universe would have been unable to escape its own gravitational force and would have imploded. In other words, life in the universe we inhabit would in either case have been impossible. This immaculate equilibrium once again proves that the universe did not come into being by chance, but was arranged for a particular purpose. As the astrophysicist William Press wrote in an article in Nature magazine, there is a grand design in the universe that favors the development of intelligent life. The Location of the Sun in the Galaxy As we know, the Milky Way has a spiral shape. Stars and heavenly bodies in spiral galaxies are set out in such a way as to form arms stretching out from around center, in the same arrangements and at the same angle. There are some stellar systems in the voids between these spiral arms emerging from the center, but so few as to be negligible. Our own solar system is one of those rare stellar systems between these spiral arms. Why is the fact that the solar system lies between spiral arms significant? From where we are, we enjoy a very clear view of space uncluttered by the gases and wastes in the spiral arms. If we were inside one of the spiral arms, our view would be seriously impaired. In his book Nature's Destiny, Professor Michael Denton says this on the subject. What is so striking is that the cosmos appears to be not just supremely fit for our own being and for our biological adaptations, but also for our understanding. Because of the position of our solar system on the edge of the galactic rim, we can gaze farther into the night to distant galaxies and gain knowledge of the overall structure of the cosmos. Were we positioned in the center of a galaxy, we would never look on the beauty of a spherical galaxy, nor would we have any idea of the structure of our universe. As Michael Denton says, the universe has been created with just the properties we need. Another point requiring consideration is that our solar system is at the end of a galactic arm, at the edge of the Milky Way, rather than in the middle, in other words. This, as Michael Denton also says, permits us to examine the skies and, more importantly, to obtain information about the universe. 
Our Lord has specially appointed the position in the Milky Way of the Sun and the planets around it. That position is instrumental in our coming to know the universe, reflecting deeply and appreciating the infinite might of Allah. Allah issues the following warning in one verse of the Quran. You have known the first formation, so will you not pay heed. The force that holds the planets together. Another example of the delicate balances in the sun concerns the force of gravity. The force of gravity of the sun is 28 times greater than that of the earth. The effect that prevents the planets flying off into space is the equilibrium between the gravitational attraction of the sun and the planet's own centrifugal force. Because of its powerful gravitational force, the Sun attracts all the planets, but they escape that pull thanks to the centrifugal force that arises due to their own orbits. But if these planets' orbits were slightly slower, then these planets would quickly be pulled into the Sun and be swallowed up in a gigantic explosion. The exact opposite state of affairs might also happen. If the planets orbited slightly faster, then the power of the Sun would be insufficient to hold on to them and they would fly off into outer space. But none of these things actually happen and all the planets continue in their own courses. Because, as Allah reveals in the Quran, each one is swimming in a sphere. We need to note this fact here. The distance of our Earth from the Sun, an energy source with an enormous mass, is exactly that which is required. In this way, it is protected against its burning and destructive effects, but also able to make the right use of its beneficial energy. Astronomers such as Kepler, who discovered this delicate equilibrium established thanks to the Sun, and also Galileo, this system manifested a clear design and proved Allah's dominion over all the universe. Isaac Newton, widely regarded as the greatest scientist who ever lived, and who made major discoveries about the sun, wrote, This most elegant system of suns, planets and comets could arise from the purpose and sovereignty of an intelligent and mighty being. He rules them all, not as a soul, but as a sovereign lord of all things, and because of his sovereignty, he is commonly called Lord God Almighty. The Balanced Reactions in the Sun As we work, sit, and relax, every one of the systems that Allah has created in the universe functions in an immaculate manner without our even thinking about them. Each one of the processes that emerges for our survival is under the control of Allah. The sun converts 564 million tons of hydrogen into the 560 million tons of helium in the time it takes you to open and close your eyes. The remaining 4 million tons of hydrogen is also converted into energy. This energy manufactured by the sun in one second is far greater than that used by mankind since the dawn of civilization. At this point, we encounter the infinite might of Allah and His sovereignty over every atom in the universe and every particle inside every atom.
such as protons and neutrons. Allah reveals this might and dominion of His creation as follows in a verse. You do not engage in any manner or recite any of the Qur'an, or do any action without our witnessing you while you are occupied with it. Not even the smallest speck eludes your Lord, either on earth or in heaven, nor is there anything smaller than that or larger, which is not in a clear book. Every second, the sun manufactures 100 billion times the amount of energy given off by the atom bomb dropped on Nagasaki in World War II. The most famous scientists of that time, including Einstein, made enormous efforts to build this bomb that emitted incomparably tiny amounts of energy compared to the sun. The result was a weapon used to eliminate mankind. Our Lord creates a giant source of energy for us, so we do not need to exert ourselves in any way and allows us to continually benefit from it without harming us. The reaction in the sun may be summarized as four hydrogen atoms coming together and turning into one helium atom. But what is the force that sticks the atomic nuclei in this reaction together? It is a force known as strong nuclear force. However, research has shown that strong nuclear force is at just the right level to perform this task. If strong nuclear force were just slightly weaker than what it is, two hydrogen nuclei could not join together. Two approaching protons would immediately repel one another, and the nuclear reaction in the sun would end before it even began. The well-known scientist, George Greenstein, expresses this fact in the words, If strong nuclear force were just a little weaker, then the light of the Earth would never shine. And what would happen if strong nuclear force were slightly stronger than it is? In that case, instead of a deuteron consisting of a proton and a neutron, a diproton with two protons would form. In that event, the sun's fuel would suddenly become a most explosive one that would destroy effectively the sun and all stars like it in a matter of seconds. and the obliteration of the sun would turn the earth and all living things on it into ashes in just a few seconds. But thanks to the mercy of Allah, our almighty creator, strong nuclear force is at just the right level and performs a balanced reaction inside the sun so that it burns gradually. These things all go to show that the strength of strong nuclear force has been arranged just so as to support human life. Any deviation in that arrangement would mean stars like the Sun would not come into being or would otherwise be annihilated in a huge conflagration shortly after doing so. Allah created the sun specifically, so as to support human life, as he reveals in the verse from the Quran, the sun and moon both run with precision.
protective features in the sun and earth. Allah created the earth in such a way that it would be protected against the destructive effects of such a giant source of energy as the sun. Research in recent years has revealed that the sun beats like a heart. Scientists have detected millions of different sounds emitted from the sun during these beats. Imagine that, like the sun, the other 200 billion stars in the Milky Way also emit similar sounds, and what would become of us when we heard them? Yet, our ears hear not a single note emitted by this giant sound source. This is because at 1 to 3 megahertz, the vibration frequencies of the sounds emitted are far below the lower limit of our hearing, which is 20 hertz. It is impossible for us to hear them. Even if they were within our range of hearing, since there is no air or gas layer in the voids of space, those sounds could not reach our Earth. If we were to multiply a sound leaving the sun by 20,000 or 40,000 times, the resulting sound would still be less than a whisper. Isn't that interesting? There is a concert being played out for us in a gigantic arena many times larger than our Earth and with giant loudspeakers, but thanks to Allah's sublime creation, we are totally unaware of it. The Earth is constantly being exposed to a bombardment of high-energy particles from the Sun. But, our Earth has two protective features against this. Were it not for these protective features, the high-energy particles and radiation reaching it from the Sun would represent a deadly threat to life. The first protective feature on Earth is the atmosphere that prevents X and ultraviolet radiation descending as far as sea level. The high energy particles arriving from the sun cool down as they collide with molecules in the atmosphere. When these potentially deadly particles reach the lower levels of the atmosphere, they are emitted at long wavelengths that are not dangerous to living things. The second protective feature is the magnetic field surrounding the Earth. Due to its magnetic field, the Earth protects living things from highly charged particles arriving from the Sun in the form of a wind. This magnetic shield continues even to protect against the major explosions on the Sun's surface. When changes take place in the Earth's magnetic shield, a greenish light in the sky can be seen in the atmosphere at night, especially in polar regions. This dance-like motion is the result of fast-moving electrons from space colliding with molecules in the atmosphere. These lights are known as the Aurora Borealis at the North Pole and the Aurora Australis at the South Pole. With this impressive display of light, Allah is showing us how He neutralizes potentially harmful rays. What does the sun tell us? The 
sun's position in space, the way it holds the planets together, its heating of the Earth, the nature of the rays it emits and the fact that these rays are of vital importance to living things all show that the universe was created to support life. Indeed, scientific circles now say that the universe has an anthropic purpose. According to this theory, the universe did not come into being for no reason, but has a purpose. All the physical balances in the universe, and particularly those in the sun, have been arranged in a delicate way, such as to support human life. Every detail in the universe has been designed with the aim of supporting human life. Allah reveals in a verse how he is the Lord of all things. The keys of the unseen are in his possession. No one knows them but him. He knows everything in the land and sea. No leaf falls without his knowing it. There is no seed in the darkness of the earth, and nothing moist or dry which is not in a clear book. Whichever of the structures and systems that surround us that we look at, from the greatest to the smallest, we will find ourselves looking at a great miracle. The important thing is to recognize these miracles, because no matter how obvious and great a miracle may be, the ability to deduce the existence and infinite might of Allah is a property unique to believers alone. As for deniers, even if they encounter a manifest miracle, they will still deny it because of their pride and earthly desires. They generally play down these miracles with irrational explanations and statements. Yet just of the miracles we have seen in this film about the sun is enough to cause a person of good conscience to believe.